What's up everyone, welcome to Gourmet Grind. Today we're gonna go into a recipe that's super simple, super easy, and looks great on Instagram too. We're gonna do a butternut squash recipe with a side of ricotta. So here are the ingredients. So here we have a butternut squash. What we wanna do essentially is cut it straight down the middle, and then we're gonna peel off the sides with a peeler. So, we're gonna go in and cut straight down the middle. Actually, we're gonna cut the end off right here. And it takes a little bit of force, so make sure to have a very sharp knife as well. And be careful for your fingers, so hold them off to the sides. All right, for this step, we're just gonna take the seeds out of the butternut squash. And how you do that is just simply take your spoon and you just start carving out the seeds. All right, for this next part, we're gonna go in with a peeler. Uh, like I said in the beginning, you want a horizontal peeler. You don't want a straight peeler because this one allows you just to have full control when you're peeling the skin. So just turn it on its side and just start peeling the outer layer until you start seeing part of the orange of butternut squash. So you want all the white to be gone. And you can leave this bottom part on because we're just gonna chop that part off. All right, for this next part, now that we have the skin removed, we are gonna dice it where the bottom starts to begin, just so we have everything equal and even. And we're gonna place it standing up and we're gonna give it one slice through the middle. We are going to go in with our claw technique that I keep talking about and we are gonna do some julienne. This is called julienning the butternut squash. We're gonna start out with four just to make it easier on ourselves. For the bottom, we're gonna cut off this end part right here so we have a more stable angle. And we're gonna go in one more time here and just start cubing it to about the same sizes as we have our other pieces. So I have these four pieces and I'm just gonna give these two little chops. So for this next part, we have to put all of our butter, butternut squash into a bowl. So I have a bowl right here. And we're gonna take our knife and we're gonna just scoop everything in. And we're gonna go in with our seasoning. So first for our seasoning for our butternut squash, we want to dice up very finely some rosemary. So what you do is just pull from this end and just start taking off the leaves. The only thing you don't want is this big stem. Now we're just gonna give this a rough chop. Just take your knife, and what you wanna do is bunch everything together right here. Just go slow at first, and then you can build your speed later on. So now, as you can see, our rosemary is very, very finely chopped. So first, you want to get your olive oil, and I would give it about two tablespoons. You want it pretty well covered, and just give that a nice little shake. Now how I toss this in a bowl is I'm pushing it out, and then I'm pulling it back. Very evenly. So now that that's coated, we're gonna go in with our rosemary that we chopped earlier. Give that a nice toss. Next, we're gonna go in with our paprika. We're gonna just sprinkle it over top, and then I have my garlic and that's about a tablespoon of garlic powder. And we're gonna finish it off with some salt and pepper to taste. So once all these ingredients are in there, we're gonna give it a quick toss again. Everything's nicely seasoned, and next we're gonna just get this out onto a tray. So here we just have a large baking tray and we're just gonna go in with aluminum foil. So you just wanna oil your aluminum foil just a little bit. You can use your hands 
There we go. And all we're gonna do now is just spread this across. We're just gonna make sure that everything's even and nothing's sitting on top of each other so it bakes all at the same time. So I'm just putting this in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius. We're about 400 degrees Fahrenheit and we're gonna let that cook for about 25 minutes or until it's nice and soft. All right, so now that the butternut's washed out of the oven, we're gonna go ahead and start with our plating. So with our plate, I like to use this balsamic vinegar, which is aged and it's reduced, so it's a nice viscous consistency. So instead of going through the middle, I like to do offset plating. So we're gonna go through the middle and just go off to the right a little bit. So final finishing touch that looks really nice is we are gonna go in with our paprika and we are going to go at an angle, sprinkle it in on top. So what we do, just take a cutting board or you could even take a piece of paper towel, just hold it steady at the angle that you want. And we're just gonna sprinkle as if we're just sprinkling over the whole plate. So as you can see here, we have a few little imperfections, which is no problem. This is why we have a towel or paper towel. So you just take your paper towel and just clean up the imperfections that you don't want. There we have our straight line. Looks super nice and aesthetic. And now we're gonna go in and plate our butternut squash. So we have a spoon and we're just gonna, going to take little bits and pieces of our butternut squash go little by little, and we're gonna lay it right in dead center in the circle. It looks nice and even. Just take your time with it. So next, we gotta go in with our ricotta. And what we're gonna do with our ricotta is we're gonna scoop little pieces along the side right there. So just lay this across the side, just like that. Finally, we're gonna take a stem of rosemary. So we're gonna take our rosemary stem and we're gonna lay it right here across the side. So that's a nice centerpiece. And we're gonna top it off with a little bit of our paprika over top of the ricotta and over top of the butternut squash. And there we have it. All right guys, you saw how simple that was. A few little techniques here and there really amplifies the dish and it's super easy as you saw. This can be served as a nice side dish along with chicken or whatever you want really. If you guys liked the episode, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Uh, we upload episodes every Tuesday, so we look forward to having you in the future. Thanks.